So let's look at a middle class family that has all the middle class things. So married, filing jointly, yes, three young children, one in college. In the next set of slides, that's me talking in the background, but I'll mute that for since I'm also talking in the video. So, uh, so yes, they have six exemptions. Let's say they make $120,000 a year and their AGI is 115,000. Again, we'll just be pulling these from the 1040 form, but here I'm just making it up. Standard deduction would be 12.6. We'll say they itemize though and go up to 20, no, 28,000. Okay. Uh, tax before credits of 84.81. That would assumes everything's regular tax. Let's assume they have some investments. So that would reduce their tax to say 8,000. AMT, zero, yes. Total credits of 2,900. Sure. Okay. Total tax of 5,100. Yes. How much did they have withheld? Let's say 2,000. Total payments of 2,000. Yes. Okay. So their tax liability was 5,100. They only paid $2,000 during the year. So mid-April, they need to cut a check for 3,100 to the IRS. Uh, this is really pretty interesting. Out of that $120,000, over 57,000 of that, uh, almost half, is not taxed at all. They had two types of income. Regular income was the majority. They also had investment income of over $3,000. Here is the tax bracket. So they are in the 15% tax bracket. You can also look at this, and it's not necessarily exactly to scale, but they would have about 16000 or so before they moved up into the next bracket, which is the 25% bracket. Here is the math behind how their $8,000 of regular tax is found. And then their investment income, since they were in the 15% tax bracket, it means any investment income is taxed at 0%. Pretty nice. Here's a summary then. They had uh, 8000 of taxes before applying any credits, then taking off 2900 of non-refundable tax credits leaves a tax liability of 5100 and they paid 2000 leaving 3100 still to pay. Okay. So adjustments to income. Now this can be kind of imposing, but really for most people there's only two or three of these. Uh, for them, we'll suppose they made a um, an IRA contribution. Okay. Non-refundable credits of 2900 TaxMac automatically found that. It could be higher if you had some, say, um, energy improvements in your home or if you paid for college tuition. Here, though, it turns out if you look at this person's 1040, it was all the child tax credit, which typically is $1,000 per younger child. We'll see, though, that they got slightly phased out because they had a relatively high income. They itemized their deductions, a total of 28000 So we need to go through here. Let's suppose they had uh, 6000 in state taxes and $4,000 property taxes. So a total of 10000 of those type of taxes. Interest you paid is from... Uh, primarily from mortgage interest or other home-related interest cost. And then gifts to charity of, no, sorry. It could be 15000 but let's make their mortgage a little smaller. And then gifts to charity of 8000 Okay. So here's a summary. There's two ways you can save, or anybody can save, in taxes. 
One is by reducing your taxable income through adjustments, deductions, and exemptions. And that is at a rate of 21% per dollar or 21 cents per dollar. Uh, credits are generally dollar for dollar. In some cases, though, uh, you can, um, if you don't have enough tax to offset, you don't get that full dollar for dollar credit. In their case, they did. So here's a summary. And to me, this is like the best screen of the app. So. So they have tax savings from a variety of sources here, the biggest one being children. We didn't have them paying any, any uh, college costs, but it could be retirement they saved, so on and so forth here. On investments they saved because it's taxed at lower rates, 0%. If you click on any of these, children, we'll look at here. This can be really useful because then you can turn it and see, well, why, where did I save that? So each of the four children reduce the taxable income by over four thousand dollars each and then the three children had a child tax credit of 2900 combined they didn't uh, qualify for other stuff um, they made too much money to make the EIC they didn't pay child care expenses presumably All right. uh, so you can go through this item by item uh, most of them are simpler like retirement was just the IRA deduction uh, the last major piece of information is this phase out. So as you make higher incomes at some point, the IRS or tax code has said you don't get the full tax benefit of this. So roughly these are ordered from top to those where you really have to make a lot of money to get um, see any deductions. So for example, you'd have to make well over $300,000 to have the personal exemptions reduced this family because their adjusted gross income is 115 is nowhere close to that there's some others here so for example the one that was actually applied here the child tax credit begins being phased out at 110,000 their AGI was 115 that's why they didn't get the full thousand dollars or three thousand for the three kids credit and so the red means they made too much money entirely to get the credit at all, so the EIC or retirement savers credit. Others were just reduced, so yellow is warning, it was reduced, not necessarily a bad thing, you just made a lot of money, so you don't get the full tax benefit. So that's a quick summary. I think I've done it in under 10 minutes. I'm sure you can do it as well for your 1040 and your family situation. Take care.